What's up guys, Casper here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an intro using an attractor and other shenanigans on that line. Um, so first thing you want to do, you want to make a sphere. Change that to roughly 125, 150. Uh, let's do 150. Oh, and um, also we can just change our... Uh, render settings right now just so uh, we don't have to resize everything later um, click this button right there that button go to output click this little tab right there go to film video and HDV slash HDTV 720 29.97 okay yep see how it zoomed in now we gotta zoom out okay so now what we want to do is we would love to move that up a little bit. We would also love to make another sphere and size that to a bow. 12 is good. And then once you got that, you want to make go to MoGraph, then make a cloner. Drag your sphere inside of your cloner. Click on your cloner. Go to object. Um change mode to grid array change that to one add some as many as you want I don't recommend really high numbers oh what a, what a fancy grid what do you think guys um, make sure none of your shapes are touching like that that's just bad very very bad so that's fine right now go back up here make that visible um, move that down a little bit. Okay, once you got that, you want to make you can't you can make a floor. I wouldn't suggest you don't or do. I don't really care. Um, it's honestly personal preference. But um, anyway, I'll show you guys a cool tip with the floor. Have if you've ah. If you guys have ever been uh, using a floor and then you render it out and then you see that line right there and you're like, damn, that sucks. Then you gotta adjust your lighting and all that. Um, you can just click on your floor, right click on it, go to Cinema 4D tags, add a compositing tag, uncheck scene by camera, and then you got all the actions of a floor but no floor. So, yeah, quite fancy stuff right there. Um, alright, so now what you want to do, you want to highlight all three of those things. If you're in R12, you want to go to Simulation, Dynamics, Create Rigid Body. And then if you are in 11.5, you want to right click, go to MoGraph Tags, and then Rigid Body will be right there. Um, alright, from here you want to just play it and see what happens so you see all that stuff just happens so your main ball falls and then your little balls fall I'm trying to not be you know I'm just gonna not even say anything um anyway you wanna get your your big sphere you wanna click on the rigid body dynamics tag for that then under dynamics the uh, on dynamic it'll say on change that to off so it won't move but yet it'll be a rigid body so if we moved like those things oh good change the frame to zero if we move like these up there and play it still is a rigid body just not yeah doesn't move uh, why am I controlling so much why is that not all right good everything again all right good did not mean to resize it anyway so oh I didn't oh, damn it gotta add the freaking things again sorry guys all right we're good all right now that we're here you want to click on your cloner highlight your cloner and whatever's inside of it. An easy way to do this is if you have more than one shape, you can use multiple shapes by the way. 
um, highlight the cloner, and then hold shift to get to the bottom of uh, your thing. So mine's sphere one, but to show you, you just click. But anyway, click, click. You need to hold control on Windows, command on Mac, and then go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. They're all randomized now, as you can see. I want to go mess around with those a little bit. Don't really mess with the Y axis too much because you want to probably keep them like out of sight, kind of, when you start off the video. Speaking of video, let's change that to about 300 frames. Eh, 250. Alright, now that we're there, you can make your click on the emitter tab attractor you can make your attractor now bring that box up to the middle of the sphere I'll change that to about 10,000 or 100,000 no 10,000 alright and once you're like that you can see the, what the hell oh yeah if that happens to you trust me I was like what is, what happened the first time you want to take a your rigid body thingamajigger and drag that on onto your sphere instead of your cloner. If it's on your cloner, it won't do anything. See? Now the balls are all free. Free moving balls. Look at all the balls. Alright. Anyway, <laughs> you can uh, pretty much mess around with your tractor, move it over a little bit. And yeah, that just kind of messes them up. You gotta be careful when you're using this uh, at such a high rate. So make sure you stay most likely like inside of the main sphere so they don't like fly off. Yeah. So make sure that's back in the middle. Take the cloner, put that back down, put it out of sight actually. So you wanna take your tractor, keyframe it, move up a little bit. What the hell is happening? If I play it, what? You know what? It's a sign. It's a sign that we need to move these up there. That we need to reset the frame to zero. So, if that ever happens, just, you know, you can adjust the height. Because they come at it so fast, and then... I'm starting to wonder why, and we probably should use a hundred thousand now. Oh hell yeah! No, we're not gonna use a hundred. Uh, try twelve thousand. Yeah, we need to move up, move these up. So it's really a lot of guessing and checking. So. Alright, that should be good. So, once you got that all set up, take your tractor, keyframe it, make sure to move it, you can move it, uh, move up in the frames, then move it, and then you keyframe it again so the balls follow it. Click in the timeline, keyframe, keyframe down again keyframe okay let's see how this looks yeah in which case I'm going to adjust that back to 10,000 and really you can use multiple shapes too so that it's not like one constant effect and um, you can also adjust the time between your keyframes by just dragging and dropping. So drag those a little bit closer. Just click it. That one closer. The last one closer. So it'll be like that. Um, sometimes you'll get the balls to like fall off because of uh, how it's going. You can also fix that by just moving that plane out of sight so you won't really see the 
balls coming down. Oh, what are we at? Ten minutes right here. Nice. All right. Anyway, while well, you're here, you got all that keyframed, but you want to make him just like fall off at the end. Go past whatever you're at at the end. Wow. You know what? You can also just do that. But anyway, you can just click on your tractor, control click on the last keyframe, the one, whatever, that you want to start. Yeah. Click again, change that to zero. Control click, and then just drop. So, whole animation looks like this. Yep. So you can adjust it, obviously. Now I just need to add some materials. Make this one some greenish color. Add reflection. Fresnel. That's good enough. Then let's do Easter colors. I don't know why. I'm just feeling some Easter colors. Like a light blue. Fresnel. Bitches love the Easter colors. Oh yeah. That's looking hot. Oh, you know what you can also do? You can add some glow. Take off specular. No one really likes specular. Use material color. Let's see how this looks. Ooh. Oh. Oh, damn. That looks pretty good. Alright. So once you're at that, you're just like playing it. Then you you want to check it. You're like, oh. Oh, what's this look? Ooh. That's pretty nice. Anyway. So you're at that point, and you're saying, I want my name on this thing. Make some text. Do it up. Mo text. Casper. What's up? And change the font, all that good stuff. Change the font in mine to Dirty Bag. No. Courier. Oh yeah, that's classic font. So change that to middle or not, because you're gonna realign it anyway. Uh, you can either click that button or do T. Size that down. Move it back up. Put it in front of your ball. Click on your text and lower the depth a little bit. And then um, you can do a. What should we do? I'm feeling it's like it's, a, it's not a bend. Huh. Um. Man, I forgot what to do here. All right. No, 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 possibly no, 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 this sucks. Hold on, let me figure it out and I'll come back. Okay, figure it out. Go wrap, drag that in your text, and then you can really just size it up, do work, move your text back, bamsicle, you're good, you're good to go. Make another material, make it black. And you're good. So back in your render settings, you want to go save, QuickTime Movie, anti-aliasing. If you have a good computer, go to best. If you have a bad computer, go to geometry. That should be good. Everything's good. Add some lights, make it perfect. And thanks guys for watching. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. If you need any help, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks.